Hey guys, welcome back to another war recap number eight, as presented to you guys by Bad Copy. As you can see, we lost to the Clan Setter Nine by a total of five stars. They just overcame us at the end of the war, and gonna go through the stats real fast. Not gonna read them off. You can pause your screen if you wish to check them out. And as always, gonna check out most heroic attack. This time it was performed by Jan. And they used a Golipe, except instead of Golems, they used Giants. So we'll have to see how this works out. So I'm going to fast forward the part where they draw the Clan Castle troops, because I'm sure you've seen that 20 million times. But she does, she, she is not a she. They do a very good job of drawing out the Clan Castle troops, and they place their Giants and Pekos at the top, along with their Clan Castle. So putting a lot of pressure on the Pekkas to go in towards the center because it's a Town Hall 8 go wipe and the Wizards aren't terribly good but they're not bad either so the Wizards won't be able to do it all by themselves so luckily we have this one Pekka who went in towards the center and his king also started to go towards the center but then veered off to the right a little bit why? I don't know but there's the first star the Pekka got it while learning the Rage spell so kudos to that Pekka Places a heal spell on the P.E.K.K.A. to try to save it and keep it alive just a little bit longer. But it doesn't look like it's going to hold out once it reaches range of the two cannons and the archer tower. So now we're going to divert our attention to the king and the few wizards on the bottom. So we're going to see how well these guys can go. Doesn't appear like it's going to be a 3 star, just 2 star, but still, that's a very good amount of stars for clan wars and the king just went down so now we know we're not getting three stars uses the rage spell on the wizards and archers on the bottom just so that way we can put a real ripping through this base because we want to see how many defensive total damage we can get and we got 68 percent nice job jan way to use those pekas and giants and we're gonna move on to the next one okay so this war our clan did not have a most heroic defender so we're just going to move on to what would normally be the third raid, and it is performed by Soul Pros. He's using a Go Wipe at Town Hall 9 against the Town Hall 9, and he uses his one giant to get the Clan Castle troops out. Giants are really good to draw Clan Castle troops as well as Hog Riders, so you might want to start adopting those two troops to draw the Clan Castle once you start moving into Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 territory. Okay, so we're going to speed up the part where he gets the Clan Castle troops. Because as before, we've probably seen it tons of times. And here goes his golem towards the center. There's a new skeleton trap, in case you haven't seen it in action before. Doesn't really do a whole lot. It's still really cool, and it's new and exciting. And it's a skeleton trap. You gotta love it. So his P.E.K.K.A.s and his king all went for the center, which is perfect for a go wipe. That's exactly what you want. Oh. Technically, it's a go wee wee because he has golems, pekkas, and witches. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, there goes his jump spell. His king and pekka will hopefully jump over the jump spell and get to the town hall, which gives him the second star that he needs. And now we're fighting for the third star. So, let's, let's not fast forward to this point. And there goes one of his pekkas is down. This golem here is about to die. Underneath the rage spell, we'll see if he can get this wizard tower though. He might be able to do it all by himself. Okay. As you can see, the queen is at full health. The king's at half. He's taken out. Being taken out by the crossbow and the cannon. He'll probably go down soon. And the queen's ability is still active. So, we'll have to wait to use that for the end of the raid. To see if we can get all of these outside buildings for the three star. So has a P.E.K.K.A left, Golem, his king just went down, some witches, some wizards, and queen. I say he's in really good shape. He has a lot of high damage dealing troops. He should be able to get this 3 star if time allows it. Because as you can see, there are only 30 seconds left. And he still has quite a bit of buildings to go. So there goes all of the defenses. Now he really is just fighting the clock. He has 10 seconds left. We'll see if he can do it. Oh, he doesn't do it! One army camp left. 
and his queen was about to take it out. Only needed two more seconds for that one, but that was still a very good go wee wee attack, and it got us two stars, which is great. Alright, now we're moving into the last replay of this war. As you can see, it is performed by Lord Man, and he is using mass dragons with a couple archers to clear the path. So with dragons, you don't really need to lure out the clan castle, but sometimes it will destroy your attack. It's just not really necessary. So his archers took out a bunch of the outside buildings, so he's going to spam his dragons, hopefully going towards the center. And we'll speed up the times too, because dragons are quite slow. Places the rage spell to get a bunch of dragons in there. And now, places the heal spell so all the dragons aren't taken out by the clan castle wizards. Now, places... He's about to place a rage spell, I'm assuming. So that way, his dragons in the center don't get taken out by the air defenses. Okay. And there goes the town hall. That's one star out of three that he can get. Uses the king's ability on the left hand side. All that's left is one air defense and two Teslas, as well as two Archer Towers. Air defense just went down, so now all he has to do is fight against the clock, hopefully. But as you can see, all the dragons on the bottom part have been taken out. So now he has to rely on the two dragons up top and his king. Hopefully he can pull it off, but we'll have to see because there are still quite a bit of air targeting defenses out there. Okay, dragons are going in to take out the Tesla, which they do. King went down, unfortunately, but he wasn't going to stay alive for the rest of the raid anyways. Looks like one of these dragons is about to get taken out. We're going to fast forward right here. One dragon left. He's being taken out by the Archer Tower. 1v1 one one him, and he takes it out. So now all he has to do is fight against the clock and that Tesla. We'll see if he can do it. Right here, this is going to probably be it for this dragon's life span, and Looks like we got two stars in that one. So, Lord Man, nice attack. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the three star. But once again, two stars is better than one. So, nice job. And that's going to do it for the replays for this war. Okay, so once again, you want to look at the main screen. You can see that we have lost this war. Even though we used more attacks, because their attacks were good, high quality attacks, and gotta give them props, they did great. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more war recaps and more by bad copy. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.